all collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. I've been hanging out in my all pink Barbie house that we made in this video. I was about to add a bathroom, but then I remembered how much I dislike making bathrooms, so I'm putting it off. But let's add a grill. This is from a Barbie dream house. And let's add those dollar store lounge chairs. The side table is already pink, so it is perfect. So funny though, when this came out, I was mad that it was pink. Now I love it. Then we can add a lounge chair. And now our dolls can lounge by the pool. I think we totally need a larger outdoor area, but we'll save that for later. Because a new doll just arrived. I ordered this on Amazon before I even had a chance to see it. It was $25 and it is <gasps> the Margot Robbie Barbie from the Barbie movie. When the movie was announced, we all knew there were dolls coming because, you know, it's Barbie. But I didn't know if they were going to base the dolls on the actors or on the iconic Barbie look. I was hoping it was going to be based on the actors and actresses because I do love a new face sculpt. And that's what we got. I've seen a couple of pictures floating around online and let's just say they weren't always the best angle because in person, I think she's kind of cute. The box says Barbie the movie. There's a picture of a dream house on the side and a large picture from the movie on the back. Greetings from Barbie land, wishing you the best day ever. Quick question. Are we going to get this outfit too? And if so, please let them be fashion packs. And I'm only saying this because when we have releases like this, we tend to end up with multiple copies of the same doll. And look, the box insert only has a couple of cuts in it. So we could probably try to get away with using this as a backdrop. It's giving us a much better view of the house. Okay, we need some yellow. I need some grass. I can do that. I need some pool floaties. I never thought I would say this, but I am loving all this pink. Ooh, and we need some palm trees and maybe we can figure out how to do that lamp. Yes. While I am over here gushing about the packaging, we did make our own inspired Barbie dream house. So we'll just add on to it when we can. Let's glue a little yellow fabric around two pieces of felt using a little hot glue for a quick no sew cushion. It's a little short. My scrap of fabric wasn't quite large enough, but I did find a pillow from our DIY Chelsea room. We made the pillows in this room really thin so we can just use it to extend our cushion until we can get more fabric and make a longer one. Where was I? Oh yeah, the doll. Out of the box, it looks like her hair could use a little attention. There's a lot of product in her bangs. It does wash out. The ends of her hair are a little rough, so you might need to take some time to restyle. The top of her hair is pulled up into a ponytail. There is a ribbon bow on top, which is just attached with one of those little plastic stays. So if you cut it from her hair, you will have to figure out how to reattach it. This doll has blonde hair that stops just past the waist. Brown eyebrows, blue eyes, a pink lip color. She does have a toothy grin. White flower earrings with painted pink centers. Are they removable? Yes, they are. She comes with a matching flower necklace and bracelet, a pink gingham dress, with straps at the top, a belt at the waist with a white buckle and a pleated skirt. The pattern does continue all the way around. The belt is sewn in and it Velcros in the back. And she comes with a pair of pink heels. The heel is a little soft, so it may get bent in packaging and there is a little decoration on the front. They are a little loose and I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping them on her feet. So let's just take them off. I am so excited for this movie. I need pink shoes. 
This doll is articulated with movement at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist. She can move at the hip and bend at the knee. So we're getting like Barbie extra articulation and not made to move. Heat up the hot water because the purple yoga Barbie looks like a possible made to move match. It looks like an exact match. I place the dolls in a plastic bag, then into a cup of hot water. And I made sure to put the hands in the water too, because we're gonna switch those out as well. In our baby Starla turning into teen Starla video, we switched the hands on this Barbie Extra Fly doll, but I didn't exactly say why. Made to move hands on a classic Barbie are kind of flat and the Barbie extra hands have a little more curve to them and more separation between the fingers. And that's what I was going for. Plus, some of you wanted to know how to do it, so we showed it. Their head is now soft, so we're gonna just pull it off. Wow, that's really on there. Uh, I think it's caught on a hook. There we go. I trim some of the hooks from the made to move Barbie neck peg and then add the new head. Quickly remove the hands and add the new ones. Take the dress, and I just realized this doll has undies. Add the fashion and accessories to the new body to make the Margot Robbie Barbie made to move. Huh, check that out. The shoes are staying on. I knew she was coming, so I did a little shopping on Amazon and picked up a few dresses. This is a six piece countryside floral dress pack for $19.98. Each dress comes with a pair of shoes. Ooh, we have pink ones. The dresses feel like a thin cotton. You can kind of see through it. They have a thick Velcro in the back, but the stitches feel pretty sound. It's a pretty easy fit on a classic Barbie. The fabric is folded over in the front rather than sewn darts. There's a waistband and a pleated skirt. The dress has a V-neck cut and it looks pretty clean in the back. The dress stops at the knee and the shoes seem to fit. Hmm, not too bad. Here's a black floral print dress paired with black shoes. Here's a cream blue and yellow paired with silver shoes. Here's a cream, lavender, and salmon paired with lavender shoes. Here's a cranberry floral print with the black shoes again and a green and yellow dress that I also paired with black shoes. There are turquoise and pink shoes as well. This dress is a little snug to get on. However, all the others are pretty easy. This one is just running a little small. So let's do the math. At $19.98 for six, that is about $3.33 per dress with shoes. Not too bad. These dresses were $17.98 each. They are a soft pinky peach. One is strapless with an oversized fabric flower, tweed top, and a faux feather skirt. The flower is a little much for me. However, it is glued on but it looks like it's just hot glued, so I can probably remove it. And I wouldn't mind if it was taken in a little. It also comes with a faux fur stole and pink shoes. The second one is a longer dress, reaching all the way to the floor. The top crosses in the front. It is a little bulky at the waist. There's a ribbon belt with a chain glued to it. Here it is on the doll. There is a matching clutch and pink shoes. I think there is some potential with these dresses. They just might require a little tailoring. And there is some potential for unraveling. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the Margot Robbie Barbie. Her eyes are not oversized or pixelated, which is a plus to me. Thank you for joining us while we made a made to move Margot Robbie Barbie. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.